Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Factory IO as ASRS warehouse simulation, and I control it using Node-RED. Let's get started. I use Factory IO as ASRS warehouse simulation. PLC Siemens S7-1200 as controller of ASRS. And Node-RED as ASRS software to send command pallet storing, and pallet retrieving. I can run the Node-RED using smartphone, and control the ASRS warehouse. This is a simple sequential storage order. This is factory IO software, open the automated warehouse scene. I connect it to PLC Siemens S7-1200. Select drivers to open PLC configuration. This is the input-output PLC configuration for sensors and actuators. In the previous video, we learned how to use ASRS in factory IO with manual run. So, before we create the ladder diagram, let's first outline the steps for both the pallet storage and pallet retrieval processes. This is the table of PLC tags for required sensors, actuators, and tags for steps of storage and retrieving sequences. This is the simple ladder diagram for control the ASRS warehouse. You can download all required files, I put the link in the video description. I use data block for store the target location of rack in storage and retrieving process. Node red will write these data and then put it in ladder diagram for getting the target location. This is a node red flow. I'm using the node red contrib S7 to communicate with a Siemens S7 1200 PLC. Here's the configuration for the connection to the Siemens PLC and the variables that I'll be reading and writing the values. This allows us to control the ASRS warehouse. For ease of control, I've implemented a dashboard with control buttons. With Node Red, we can control the ASRS warehouse simulation using a web browser, and it's accessible from a smartphone. Okay, here is the results. I've launched Factory IO and opened the Node Red dashboard in my browser. From the Node Red dashboard, click the reset button to reset the scene and all variables. Then, to begin the pallet supply from the emitter, click the pallet supply switch to the on position. Next, click the Start Storing Pallet button to initiate the process of moving pallets from the conveyor to the rack. Currently, I'm using sequential storage starting from rack number 1. That's a smart safety feature. When the stacker is actively working on a process, it's important to prevent accidental or premature button presses. Disabling the storing and retrieving buttons during a process is a good way to achieve this. This ensures that the buttons cannot be clicked while a task is in progress, enhancing the safety and efficiency of the ASRS warehouse control system. That's a helpful addition. Having information about the target location, which includes the rack number for pallet storage or retrieval, provides clear guidance and context to the operator. It enhances the user experience and makes it easier for them to understand and monitor the ASRS warehouse operations.
To retrieve a pallet from the rack, click the Start Retrieving Pallet button. The rack number to be retrieved will be displayed, and the stacker will begin to retrieve the pallet, and place it on the unload conveyor. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.